Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we will talk about DLO to DLO transform and why do we need it and how to transform it. So far what we have done is we have done a full circle of data cloud. We started with ingesting the data into the data cloud then went up to create segments and then the last step was sending those segments to external systems. So we did a full deep dive into the data cloud. But the data that we ingested, which is basically the contact objects and uh, contact records and the reservation record, if you see on the contact records, there was only one phone number populated for every contact. So it was easy to map that DLO to the contact point phone DMO, which have fields like phone number and phone type, right? So the mapping was easy because we only had one type of phone number populated on every contact. Now, let's say for every contact, we have a business phone populated, mobile phone populated, other phone populated, all of these phones are populated. So in that case, we cannot directly map this DLO to the D existing DMO, right? So in that, what we're going to do is we're going to have a step in between where we will transform the DLO to DLO and we will the target DLO that we will create will have fields similar to the DMO. So we'll have a contact ID, contact phone ID, phone number and phone type. So how do we transform this DLO to the new target DLO? That is what we're going to talk about in these next couple of tutorials. So you can see here, this is how the data will look like. So we'll have a contact ID. We will populate phone number, mobile phone, all of that for every contact. Now this one row will actually be broken down into multiple rows in the target DLO because one row will be to capture only mobile phone, the other one to capture other phone, the third one for home phone and business phone. So when you have some complex data, which cannot be directly mapped to the existing DMOs, in that case, you might need a step in between, which is the DLO to DLO transform. And the way to do these transform is using these data transform tab. And if you don't see the data transform, you'll see it under the more section here. Right now, if I go over to the data explorer, and if you select the data lake object and you select the contact home, you will see we are only populating one phone number. So let me edit the columns here. We don't need account ID. We don't need assistant name. We need assistant phone, business phone. We don't need description. We don't need source version. And let's say from the left, we will pull in a uh, home phone. So we'll move this to the right. Uh, we will also pull in mobile phone. So we'll move this to the right and other phone. We will move it and hit done. So you're only populated one phone, which is the mobile phone for every contact. Now what we're going to do is we will populate business phone, home phone, other phone, assistant phone, all these type of phone for every contact. And then we will do a step for called as DLO to DLO transform. How do we do all this? We're going to talk about it in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much.